Welcome back to the 75 gallon mixed reef aquarium. And we're going to start off with a quick shot of the tank. Yellow tang, the clownfish, and the three angels. All the livestock is doing well. No new updates there. This video is on baby bond shrimp. So I originally got this idea from Daily Reefing's channel. And if you're not subscribed, definitely check them out. Um, but there's several different kits out there. This one seems to work really well. Um, I did do a DIY setup um, that worked. Um, and so I thought I would give this a try. And here is a shot setting it up. I'll put the instructions down below in the description. Here's another shot. Uh, this is before they hatched. Um, one liter of water and um, four teaspoons of Red Sea Blue Bucket salt. And I love the floating device in the center. I think that and the scooper that comes f with the um, kit is great so 24 hours later and some Panera lunch non-sponsored video by the way the uh, this is after they have hatched and so you can see that they're no longer um, floating on the surface um, I've already fed some to the tank and I'll be showing that in a few minutes here coming up um, but again the water seems to spin in the syro a little bit. Shot of the new SPS on the left, and then of course I'm a big fan of the Recordia Florida mushrooms. And I moved this particular coral on the left up a little bit higher. It's got some nice green and purple coloration. And seems to be doing well thus far. We'll keep our fingers crossed. So here's a shot of the brine shrimp before I harvest, and you can see them floating. This was the first harvest, and we'll zoom in a little bit here, see them floating around. And I'll show a clip of me Removing the center and dipping it. Um, I do have it sitting on a old heating pad, um, which was laying around. Um, I'm a runner, and heating pads definitely come come in handy. Um, so I just had it set on the lowest setting possible, and it would heat up the room temperature water. The ideal temperature, per the instructions, is right around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And so this is me just dipping it getting it into some tank water and another close-up shot from here pretty straightforward and we'll take it over to the tank and watch the fish go at it Did some re aquascaping over at the tank now. Um, added some new zoas, upper left hand corner. Uh, and the SPS are still doing well. Um, and we have um, kind of broken up the mushrooms, the green ones, over to the far right. They're starting to multiply like crazy. And so I've been plucking those out here and there. On the right hand side of the tank, uh, we will dump in that same cup. And it takes the fish a little bit to gain wind that something is in the tank. And it's just fun watching them go after uh, once they realize that there's food floating in the tank. Uh, quick walk down this tank and then Let's see, and 
the lights have probably, you can see the red gone it has it's not fully extended. So this is a probably half hour, 45 minutes, um, definitely less than an hour into the folding period, um, which I've adjusted. I did add four, I have four Kessels now and basically a nine and a half lighting period. So we're gonna dump them in. And eventually the fish realize there's something in the water and they'll start to scramble after them. And that's it. I will shut up and allow the music to take over. Thanks for watching. Welcome new subscribers and stay tuned for new updates.